So the first card is the kite and it says you need a vacation. <laughs> so you do need a little bit of a break, a little bit of a holiday. Uh, and it's time to go out and have some fun. So it's time for you to let your, your hair down. So the universe is telling you you do need to get some, some rest. You've been working far too hard. You've got the dog card close up over here. So pleasure with close friends. So it's time for a holiday, uh, meeting up with old friends, maybe some reconciliation, get together with your friends and have a little bit of a holiday. Uh, have a little bit of fun as well. So in the past, you've got the bow. So you're being very highly thought of. So recognition has been coming to you. And you've got the tower. You've been building on very, very strong foundations and, you know, working very hard. This is probably why you need a holiday. And it looks like success is on its way to you. Now going to the future, you've got the shark card of here. So take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. So just watch how you spend. So don't overindulge in other words. And just watch out. There could be some sneaky people you're dealing with. Uh, make sure that, you know, you're, that nobody takes advantage of you with that shark card over there. You've got the bouquet. So compliments from a an admirer. So there's somebody that has their eye on you, uh, and somebody giving you, uh, you know, um, compliments or somebody just really admiring whatever it is you're doing or just even admiring you as a person that's coming in for you over there. There could be even a gift because the bouquet usually talks about a gift coming in as well there. So those are the energies for the week. So you've got, uh, the two of swords over there. You've got the five of swords. Um, you've got the world card and you've got the sun card below that. So, uh, you know, whatever you've been working on, you've been working really, really hard. And this is probably why you do need a vacation, um, and, you know, working long hours, but success is coming to you over there with that sun card. So things are starting to look up, but you have been working very, very hard. It seems like you've had successful completion of whatever you've been doing. So, uh, whatever it is, there's recognition coming in on that worldwide scale over there, but there's also been a success that has come in and you've successfully completed things as well with that world card. You've got the five of swords. So there are people around you that are still you know, you're having a bit of difficulties with, you've got that five of swords and the two of uh, swords there. So you could be having some problems with one particular person. You could be, uh, you know, uh, in some sort of uh, clash of uh, opinions over there. Uh, and, you know, this person is very critical, um, you know, and it's upsetting you as well. So there might be a breakdown of communication there, uh, but there's also uh, a little bit of nastiness going on there with that two of swords. You're at a point where you're, uh, you know, trying to make a decision about what to do about the situation as well. But this person seems to have said a lot of things behind your back. Uh, you know, they're almost making you feel, um, you know, disempowered, very critical, um, you know, not a very nice energy. There's a little bit of conflict that is going on over there and uh, a, a lot of uh, nasty things being said as well over there you are in a sort of a stalemate situation you are butting heads there uh, and you seems like you are at a point where you have to make a decision about what to do you've got the queen of vessels over there so it's upsetting you quite a bit you're feeling very uh, miserable about the situation you're crying about it as well uh, or you're very very emotionally upset about it you're feeling very unsupported by the people around you and then you're feeling a little depressed as well because of whatever this conflict is that is going on but you will overcome it this is the card of victory so after going through a lot of problems he's holding this wreath of victory so everything will turn out in your favor there will be victory uh despite the fact that this person has caused a lot of problems or a lot of upset for you it looks like you know there will be success or you will be victorious in the situation you will come out as being a clear winner this person is uh, seems to have you know gotten the better of the situation here they seem to have uh, been victorious but it, it seems like things are about to do um a 180 degree turnaround and you are going to be the one that looks uh you know people are going to um give you the credit rather than that a person so whatever nastiness is going to be exposed. You've got the Hermit card. So you have been very, very focused on your work. This is your card. It's card ruled by Virgo. So you've been extremely work orientated and putting your head down and spending a lot of time by yourself and working pretty hard. You've got the Queen of Swords over here. So a lot of people have been giving you a lot of problems. And, you know, the Queen of Swords is somebody that's gone through a lot of hassles. She's waiting for things to take a to turn around uh but you know there's been a lot of conflict that she's been dealing with you've isolated yourself a little bit as well because you've got the queen of swords as well as the hermit of here so you're keeping pretty much to yourself 
uh, and not really letting anybody come too close to you as well. Um, so that's not really a good thing, especially, you know, if you're, um, it, it will tend to make you feel very um, unsupported in that sort of way, but you're not allowing people to get too close to you. Maybe they've said things and you're just, you just really don't want any more drama anymore. Uh, with this Queen of Swords. So there is that need for you to speak your truth as well with the Queen of Swords. But it seems like you're spending a lot of time by yourself and you're just focusing a lot on your work. Um, maybe because people have been so critical of whatever you've been doing. You are working towards your personal success. You've got the Empress card over here and this is what's in your mind. You want financial, material success to come and you're focusing all your energies and efforts on that. And this might be making a lot of people jealous as well. Now, going into the future, you've got the Knight of Vessels over there. There's an offer that is coming in for you. Uh, maybe this person is going to come in with an apology as well with that Knight of Vessels. But there's certainly also some information that might be coming in or some kind of advice that comes in um, that might you know, help you get through the situation or help you be victorious in the situation. There's some kind of offer that comes in over there. So if anybody offers you some advice, it's well worth listening to it rather than ignoring it. So what's happening with you? You might be focusing a lot on your work because you are doing some study on the side as well. Because you've got the, the Hermit card and this is about work and study. Maybe you're specializing in your career and you've got that Eight of Pentacles over here. So you are earning but you're also learning as well. So you, it seems like you might be doing some study or training or improving your skill set in some sort of way. And this is why you are so fo focused on that work. The King of Swords is coming, you know, so a decision is going to be made. So this could be some kind of legal decision. This could be about even documentation coming in for you, uh, legal documentation. You might be even dealing with some kind of legal situation uh, or the justice system as well. But this is definitely a decision that is going to be made, some kind of official decision that's going to be made. So it doesn't necessarily relate to a legal decision, but it relates to some kind of official decision that is going to be made. You might even be thinking of signing a new contract as well with this King of Swords. Uh, it seems like you're thinking of moving on from this job, uh, maybe leaving it behind and going and taking something uh, on the overseas front. So this is going through your mind. You're certainly considering it. And maybe this offer comes in and maybe you decide to sign a new contract and move on. The um, Knight of Vessels also talks about work overseas or buying a new home overseas. So maybe that is what is coming in for you over there. But you're certainly looking to travel overseas, leaving behind the, the past. You can see leaving behind this stave and moving on, taking uh, your talents and moving on and doing the job on the overseas front. So we've got, uh, coming into the future, we've got the Seven of Pentacles over here, uh, the Six of Vessels, and you've got uh, the Four of Staves here. So with that Seven of Pentacles, uh, you you possibly have been putting out your CV and applying for a whole bunch of new jobs, um, and, and you're waiting uh, to get some news about that. So this is all about money and putting, uh, you know, your um, your CV out or trying to apply for new jobs, looking at the financial, your financial status, you know, putting a lot of effort into it. So it looks like an offer is going to come in for you. So somebody is going to bring you, you can see an offer being presented. And it looks like it's going to be something overseas as well because it's a cup that's being presented over here. So this is a new job overseas. You know, you'll be making new friends and it's going to be something really good. So, um, you know, you've been putting your CV out. It looks like uh, a new job offer coming in for you. And you're going to be working with a group of people. And again, this is about working overseas. Um, and you can see there's a home in the back of that, even buying and maybe buying a new home overseas, but working with a group of people and doing a lot more travel as well. So it seems like, you know, whatever you've been working for, you're planning on leaving this old situation, moving on. And it looks like that's going to be coming through for you. Right now, you're going through some kind of learning process, uh, but an offer is coming in for you then it seems like you might be signing some new contracts maybe this is what the dilemma is about with this two of swords as well about trying to make that decision about what to do next um, but it looks like if you make the decision of going a new offer is coming in for you there whatever you've been putting out there into the world whatever your cv or whatever applications you've been making is going to be successful and you've got that card of that four of staves which is the card of success uh you know and uh it's also a card of working on a, on a global scale as well. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, Wolf Pack. And the first card here is uh, Be Alert. So you might find yourself a victim because of another person's jealousy or dishonesty. Be alert. 
a situation calls for clarity, pay attention uh, while driving or pay attention to details. So this is a time for you to tread very carefully. Just be careful. This person that you've been working with, uh, maybe that person that you've been having some conflict with, uh, might be a bit deceptive and might be doing something behind your back. Uh, so just be careful of this particular situation. You've got a battle going on over here. So this is a time, a battle with a loved one, a friend. It could indicate a struggle in career or in a job and may lead to an ending. Uh, possibly a battle within oneself. Seek peace through prayer and meditation. So this person is giving you quite a hard time, uh, whoever you're working with. They're causing a lot of conflicts. It seems like you're at a stalemate with them as well. Be careful of them. They have some sneaky ways of doing things as well. So just be careful. And you've got famine as a time of limited opportunity, sacrifice, and change. The only solution is to conserve resources and seek greater opportunities elsewhere. So it might be that, you know, the situation that you are in is not going to lead to any place in particular, and you might need to embrace a new situation. And it seems like you know it because you're putting out, uh, you know, applications. Uh, so that is where your opportunity will come. The place that you are in now seems... It seems like there's no more scope for development there. And somebody there is pretty jealous. They're giving you a lot of problems there. Uh, so you may need to actually leave the situation in order for you to make progress. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Archangel Power Tarot. So the Four of Raphael shows that an offer is coming in for you. So seek out other possibilities, look for the magic in life and be aware of your own emotions. There is an offer that is coming in for you there. And you've even got that Six of Cups. So you can see that there is an offer coming. It's a really good offer as well. You might get it through somebody you used to work with. Um, so that might be where the opportunity comes in. Somebody from the past brings that news to you. But with that four of Raphael, there's definitely an opportunity. Um, and you can see this uh, Raphael walking over the wave. So it's an overseas offer that comes in for you. And it's well worth considering because it's going to lead to a lot of success in the future. It suddenly leads to a lot of money because you've got the king of Ariel, which is the king of pentacles over here. So plans that are working out pretty well and the professional and financial success. Uh, so this is the money card. So whatever this new offer is, is going to generate a lot of money. It's a position of authority and it looks like it's an overseas offer that comes in for you there. And you've got the justice card, fight for justice and equality, rulings made in your favor, don't give up. Now this to me seems like you're going to be signing new contracts. You've got the king of swords as well as the justice card over here. So you will be either ending, um, you know, ending legal contracts and signing new contracts with both these cards. So this new offer that comes in over there, looks like there's a lot of paperwork that's going to be done. Um, make sure you're reading things very carefully. And it looks like you're going to be new, you know, signing new contracts and moving on from this old situation. So I wish you all the best of luck and, uh, you know, go with flow. Don't be resistant to change. It looks like once you make your mind up, uh, you know, things start uh, becoming very positive and you're 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 gonna go places uh things are gonna open up for you the road is opening up as well uh once this offer comes in and it looks like more money will come in as well and more stability as well